So I've got these five Cathy bunches. Again, we're just iconic winter fabrics and unique blends. So those five iconic fabrics I talked about at the start, they're the ones that we want to be pushing from Jackney. This is where we can really embrace winter fabrics. Um, you get the darker tones, classic, and then, and then also classic patterns and classic fabrics. So like, if you want to do a blue flannel unconstructed jacket, that's really nice, a really nice uh, versatile jacket some guy can have in his closet. Um, so both ideal for polar climates and temperate zones. Remembering we're pushing the seasonality here, right? So even in, no, I know I'm not here in Texas, but in Texas you have to start pushing the temperate stuff. Like it does get cold there. We have, we have both cold weather jackets and warm weather jackets. Warmer weather jackets for, uh, for fall winter. And like I said in the last one, just really pushing the importance of seasonality. All right, this is where it gets fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about a whole cherry one because I don't think there was an exciting enough versatile book for that at that price point. Although you can have a look, and if your clients like that, then then do that. There were more so at the higher price points, but I wanted to give something at like this entry level Japanese price point that's other than greater BBC and new boys on the scene, Solviati have this great kind of uh, graffiti book, which is in really, really unique patterns. So we have these kind of bold, and if you know Solviati is owned by Laura Piana, they purchased them uh, by about two years ago. And they are the biggest producer of cotton and linen textiles in um, fine wear, uh, fine luxury cloths uh, in Europe, so or in the world. So we have a beautiful selection here, and Okay, the patterns are bold, but they're in versatile colors. So we got a lot of navy, and this is the kind of stuff that I would do unconstructed, uncanvassed. Um, you know, nice herringbone jackets, like that is a beautiful jacket that any guy could wear, old and young. Um, and, you, and you feel this stuff, it has a very, although it's kind of very, at 308 grams, yeah, it's heavier, it's like a, it's, but it's got a winter feel, but if you feel that, it's like very, very lofty. Um, reminds me of like a cashmere kind of jacket and breathable because it's got that loose weave. Yeah, it's just... Lofty's like... It's airy. Yeah, airy. Yeah, so it's not dense. It's not yeah, like tweed where it feels like you're you feel a woolen blanket you don't pick up a, uh, If you go and get the book and you pick up like the wool flannel and then a 100% cashmere or a piano one and then just feel how like lighter and like softer it feels. It's almost like less dense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is like what we did that grey speckled jacket out of last year. Uh, similar, that was a tweed, but yeah. Okay. Um, but this stuff is going to be really good for like deconstructed, um, deconstructed jackets. And when I say deconstructed, no canvas, no lining, no, 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 no shoulder pads. Right. Um, but it's like got a really nice winter feel to it. And that's going to be great for travel. So we're still good, Teddy. Um, and it's unique. It's unique jacketing that you don't see, you know, in other bunches. So, <laughs> okay. So yes, yes, the patterns are bold, but you'll have a look here. It's dark greens, dark navies, uh, dark browns, versatile colours. What's PA? Ten percent. Polar. So that gives it that. That gives it that. Uh, yeah. That's what gives it that kind of good play feel, like that raised, like. Puffiness. Texture. Yeah, and you'll see that in a lot of um, <laughs> the Ariston and the Deep Lost Cool, so any questions on the Soviati? Uh, no, I don't know if you're going to narrow layer, but could you speak a little towards styling? I know I've heard you talk about this. You just talked about these being like great versatile colors versus like, you know, we don't want to dress our clients like clowns like some jackets or that's out of bounds for who they are. Like, how does this book help that, the versatileness? In like a client's wardrobe? Yeah, oh, you said like some jackets can just be like so like, almost clown-like. Yeah. And like have this one, like it's bold, but it's still versatile color and it's seducing. Yeah, I think we think about like we talked about before, just a lot of these clients are going to be wearing jeans with their jackets. I think that's the worst of the all time. Um, <laughs> uh, chinos, all that stuff. Like, so yeah, bold. So these are bold patterns, but what takes for intro is that like a lot of it's tone on tone patterns. So like a very dark navy with a kind of a dark blue, and that's going to be subtle from a distance, and then interesting up close. 
So that's where you can really kind of sell the guy in that. When we look at some of the Ariston bunches, they have like literally plaids that are like this big. It's insane. So that's when it starts to get to like an ostentatious level. Um, and if it's a few clients would want that. Yeah, robust day. I think this is all probably one of our favorite bunches that we get every single season. Jonathan shaking his head like, can't wait to get into that. Again, we have the latest trends. The latest trends. Kay just mentioned a nice point. She said different price in here, no longer. All at one price point. So, so again, when we talk about the um, what they've done with the prostate bunches, the latest trends and colors and patterns, a year ahead, champion the latest innovation in fabrics and color and design. Um, and then in the style and blend, so we have 100% wool, wool silk cashmere. Um, I think the alpaca, yeah, the alpaca, is it? Alpaca wool and polar mines, so that's what this jacket was over here. Um, you know, beautiful design, subtle designs, like something like this, like photographed impeccably, um, beautifully. Okay, look, yeah, it's crazy up front, but when you look from afar, it's, it's going to be a jacket that can be so versatile. So we're championing all the best blends from that Laura Piano are producing in a, again, a very limited edition stock. So this is the one that you want to get your clients into September, October, before everything runs out. I think we know a lot about this, but again, pull at one price point, we're making it super easy for you. It's going to be great. Cool? Can you, can you like talk a little bit about like poly mine? What is that? Should we be worried about it like long term? Yeah, it's just like a man-made silk. Yeah. Um, and it gives it this boat play, like we play like we like this like puffiness. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's it's excuse, exclusively used with like alpaca and cashmere to give it like that like pop. Yeah. Um, you definitely should be worried about it. Okay. It's more for the visual and feel effect than the functionality. Yeah. 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 Like some of them, it all depends on how you feel. <laughs> They're beautiful fabrics. But some of them are very light, so you want a little bit of a little bit of like extra structure there. For them. <laughs> all right. All right. Runs So this is where it gets crazy. It gets fun, and the people that love selling Arison, I know they think this is like one of the greatest bunches of all time. Um, and it's very unique. If you were to sum up like Harrison in one book, like the Jacques book is it. Like this is really emphasizes like how much they want to change the game in terms of design, the way they mix colors, the way they mix compositions. Uh, and truly unique stuff. Like we, you know, you have some clients, it's like, oh, I want some like crazy jacketing. Like if this isn't enough for them. That's it. You know, Nathan's going to be ordering some of these full suits. <laughs> <laughs> three piece, three piece. Seriously, three though. piece. So we have again four sub bunches, and unlike last time, we can pull them out, so we're not overwhelming the client. Yeah, Connor. I kind of name them in like fire, wind, water, earth. From what I've seen, 